Hey, church family. Uh, Pastor John here in my office and excited to bring you some good news about where we stand after the governor's recommendations for churches uh, yesterday in his press conference. Uh, we are excited to be able to start bringing people back. What you need to know is that for now, we're going to continue to do the things we've been doing. Our Worship Sunday will be online. You can continue to give in the same ways you've been giving. All of our midweek stuff, our children's, our youth things will still continue online. What, the, what our exciting next step is, is that on uh, May the 24th, uh, we're going to open the building to receive some folks in. Now, the governor didn't give us any guidelines about numbers, but we know that we have to have numbers that we can appropriately distance uh, within the sanctuary. So, so we think we'll be able to handle those who come on that holiday weekend. We're only going to have the nine o'clock service live that day, and we'll be doing the service as if it was online. So if you remember, some of you will, those uh, television shows from the 70s and 80s where an announcer would say at the beginning, this was filmed before a live studio audience. In some ways, it's going to feel like that because our worship is still directed to people at home because we believe, based on the surveys that we have received from from about 350 of you in the church, that uh, that a large number are still going to want to stay home for a few more weeks, and wisely so for many. But for those of you who are ready to come, uh, we invite you to, to come at 9 o'clock on um, May the 24th. Uh, we think you'll enjoy being in worship. You'll enjoy singing. It will help us. Even though we're focusing on online, it will help us just having you in the room, having you join in the singing. And, and it'll help me as I preach, having some people right there in the room as I do so. So I hope you'll be making plans for that. Now, I need to tell you, if you have children, they're going to need to sit with you. Sadly, at this point, we're not uh, allowed or encouraged to provide any kind of child care classes or small group classes right now either. So, so you'll need to be prepared to, to sit with your children and, uh, and tend to them during the service. But your presence here will mean a lot to all of us. Now, we're going to be publishing later today uh, this in a, in a printed form, which will have much more detail than I'm able to give to you as I talk to you, uh, because there are some concerns. Obviously, those of you who are a part of the, the population that's higher risk, older folks, people with, with uh, pre-existing medical conditions, you, you need to stay home. Now, I know some of you are lonely. You're just ready to be able to be with people. And so I, I want you to know that we are working on some way of providing for you something here at church in the next few weeks uh, that will allow you to come with people uh, uh, your own age and with, with the kind of issues you have, appropriately space you out somewhere in the church and do a little worship with you if, if and when you're ready for that. So, so we, we, we're not forgetting you. We want to connect with you, and we're going to find a way to do that. So I really want to refer you to check out our What's Next plan, uh, phase one of that plan that we'll be releasing today. That will have more details. And if, if it raises questions for you, uh, you know how to get hold of us. Uh, we're happy to respond and answer uh, your questions. So in the meantime, I want to say thank you again for your faithfulness to watch, for the encouragement and the prayers that you're sending our way, uh, our staff each week as we, we hear from you how God is using this online venue to continue to minister uh, to you during these days. But hopefully, prayerfully, uh, things are getting better. You do need to know every plan these days for every business and for everybody, every plan is in pencil. If, if things change, if the opening causes spikes in the virus, well, we'll have to step back and rethink some things. But at least for now, uh, this is our plan going forward. And we look so forward to seeing all of you who are ready to come, who feel comfortable uh, coming with your mask on May the 24th at 9 o'clock. May the Lord bless you as we begin to, uh, to, to start some new things and to grow into some new areas that God has shown us during this season of the pandemic.